In this video, we're going to go over the AWS Purchase Order Management Service. You'll learn how to access and easily manage your AWS Purchase Orders, or POs. Let's dive in. What does AWS Purchase Order Management allow you to do? Purchase Order Management allows you to define how your purchase orders are mapped to your invoices. This feature allows you to add the PO number at the point of transaction, so resulting AWS invoices reflect the PO number for the approved transactions. The PO number is automatically viewable within the Purchase Order Management Console for future reference and tracking. These enhanced features enable accounting to easily calculate and remit payment to the correct departments and complete any required invoice matching processes. Users who need to add the PO number to a purchase must have the AWS Marketplace subscribe permission. You can manage your permissions by using the AWS Managed Policy, which you can learn more about by going to the AWS Marketplace Buyer Guide and searching for AWS Managed Policy. The management tool enables self-service access to PO information to update details at any time, the ability to track PO balance, status, and expiration, and the ability to control POs and invoice match. The tool also features more flexibility to use unique POs for different scenarios, including billing periods, AWS seller entities, and different invoice types, such as upfront service fees from AWS Marketplace subscriptions versus monthly usage charges, considered an anniversary invoice. Now let's go through a demo of how to use the Purchase Order Management tool. We'll start by navigating to our homepage in the AWS console. To reach the Purchase Order Management tool, search for Billing, and on the navigation bar, choose the Purchase Order field. Now, let's start by adding a purchase order by first selecting Add Purchase Order in the top right corner, which will take you to the PO Creation page. Adding a purchase order is a two-step process. In step one, you'll add your PO ID. In this case, we'll name it PO Demo Subscription. The next step is to choose your Bill From location, which is the location where your AWS purchases are taking place. Since I am purchasing from the AWS Inc. entity, I'll choose AWS Inc. In the next section, you can view the billing address that will be reflected on your invoice. This is so that the purchase orders you raise on your end will match the billing address for your AWS invoices. AWS will also reference your net terms and preferred currency. Effective month and expiration date are the next important fields that allow you to raise your purchase orders for a specific time period, so that any invoice generated during this window of time can leverage your purchase order. By choosing these dates, you can define different purchase orders for different billing periods. The next step is adding purchase order contacts. AWS has purchase order notifications to allow for balance tracking as well as expiration. As your purchase order reaches your expiration month, we'll notify this email address so you can be proactive and take the necessary action, such as updating your purchase order or adding a new purchase order. You can add up to 10 contacts to receive these notifications. Let's move on to step two, defining your line item configurations to map your purchase order to a set of invoices. I'll define this PO to AWS Marketplace by choosing that as a line item type. You can also choose to enable balance tracking. This feature will allow you to track your PO amount against your invoices. Whenever an invoice is mapped to your purchase order, the purchase order balance will reduce by the invoice amount. In this example, I'm choosing a balance of $100. So, to finalize my purchase order, I'll click Submit Purchase Order. Going back to my Purchase Orders dashboard, I can see my new purchase order titled PO Demo Subscription at the top of my PO list with an active status. You can also see that I have a portfolio of my AWS purchase orders, and there are multiple purchase orders that I've added, in which I can view the details of their value, remaining balance, effective date, expiration date, and status. From this dashboard, I can click into each section and view each PO in further detail, including their line item configurations and all the invoices that are generated against the PO. At any time, I can update any of these fields. 
AWS also offers a feature that allows you to move your purchase order to suspended status, which pauses a purchase order from being used during a given time frame. Finally, once you make a purchase that falls under your PO configuration, the AWS invoice generated to your billing console will populate the respective PO ID. In this example, my purchase was $96, so I'll see back on my PO dashboard that this PO balance was reduced by that amount, leaving an available balance of $4. If an invoice has generated and your purchase order is incorrect and needs to be updated, you can work with your assigned accounts receivable analyst or submit a billing and accounts support case utilizing the AWS Contact Us form. Thank you. 